Hello and welcome back to the Tremendous Tullies. Do you ever feel like just co commanding people to end wars so your realm can look nice and pretty again? I do, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, instead, I'm going to go and join this tournament and see how it goes. My wife has finally listened to my advice in a few weeks. She might be back to shape. Well, that's good. Yeah, good to know. My son is not feeling well. He has food poisoning. Please don't die. Just wait in a couple seconds, and uh, he's not dead. Well, that's good. So Willis Lannister's got a claim on the Seven Kingdoms and is raising an army to press it. Um, can I kill him? I could probably just pay to have him dead, but I don't want to. I failed to beat uh, Ossifer Swift. Well, that's embarrassing. He is significantly worse than me. Well, let's see how this goes. Um, oh, someone's converted. I wonder what the next pop-up's going to be. Oh, I didn't expect that one. Uh, but no, I don't need you to train my uh, commanders. There you go. Uh, the Faith of the Seven uh, revolt might happen. Or a revolt against the Faith of the Seven. One of your vassals, Lady John Celia Stark of the Northlands, sold a woman into slavery. Now, why would you do that? Now you just make it so that I have to arrest you. I can't arrest you. You're immune to hostile action, maybe, or what? Can't arrest you because you're current because you're in a revolt. No, I'm going to command you to end your war. Uh, it was voted for. You ended the war. Well, okay, and I assume she lost. I could just imprison her now, though. I have a reason to. Imprison her. Right. Uh, it's Adam Cressy versus Forrest Borney. Okay. And Adam was declared the winner. Huge upset. Um, right. In here, uh, I want to call her for a trial. Right. Uh, trial by combat and Sunspear. Adrian Faith demanded trial by combat. And uh, he was proven innocent. Cool. She's complaining about her dungeon, her cell in the dungeon, whatever. Leighton Cockshaw was drawn against uh, Jacelyn Seltagar, and Leighton was declared the winner. She's demanded trial before the court. Uh, at the start of the trial, she is formally accused of illegal slave trading, a charge brought forth by King Adam Tully. Um, she begins to present her defense, and she's very unconvincing and nervous. And many were unimpressed by my hand of the king, though. And she's been found guilty. Well. Let me find something to do. Uh, let's... First of all, I was simply passing time at the tournament when I came across two knights arguing over honour. I knew straight away that the argument was spurious. The result would be unnecessary bloodshed, so I stepped in and prevented it. Ooh, an extra diplomacy. Nice. Like it. Uh, John Sella? Um, I could just execute her now. That's the kind of thing you do, wouldn't it? Seems about right. Um... Well, yeah, can't banish her, so executing. She'll be hanged for slave trading. That now means William's next uh, up. Um, didn't like that executed kinsman, but whatever. Do we have, are we um, feared now? We are feared, and that's raised our respect. So some national revolt risk down stuff. And vassals are 30% less likely to join hostile factions or start plots. Nice. Leighton Cockshaw and Adam Cressy were next, and Leighton was declared the winner. Because Adam took out the only person who was as good as Leighton in the tournament. It's good that my Kingsguard win. I always like that. It fills me with some confidence. Um, okay. William is taking the Stark name. Okay. Uh, opposed to the Molan name. Um, the Arbor is usurped a title. Okay. Um, realm's still not together yet. We're missing Hand of the King. We need a new one. Well, the last one wasn't very good. Who have we got here? We could have Laren Rosby. Um, the High Septum would be my Hand of the King. That's a bold one. Are we zealous? No, we're not zealous. So I'm not going to do that. We could have Owen Cressy, a river man. Although he is like a torturer. Maybe not. Why is everyone depressed here? Oh, do they all have... They probably all have the same focus. 
Like they all probably have the um, rulership focus, which has a high chance of depression, I think. Um, I'm going to choose Owen Cressy. Sure. He's married to my cousin, so I guess that that's cool. Yeah. And he thinks I am brilliant in general. Yeah. He has a high attraction to homosexual, which is the main reason. The plus 30. Um, there's a title that's been usurped. And the tourney is over. Right. The Westlands feel like going back underneath the me, me yet? Mm, no, still in the war over some keep. Uh, okay. Your Grace, Brand of Short has been defeated. Her reign of misrule has come to an end. Stability has been brought to Winterfell Lord Paramount Edarian Stark. Her heir shall henceforth rule the North. No. I, I think that's just an odd message. He was always ruling the North. What about Pentos? How is it feeling in its war? Still going, huh? Alright, well. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more and that Bethany Tullyheart now rides Limagon into battle. I mean, here's the thing. She may be burned. She may be missing an eye. She may be missing a hand. She may be disfigured and have an infection. But she is riding a dragon. And really, could you ask for more? That is amazing. So this is... Yeah, okay. So this is one of the... This is of the line of one of the bastards we created. Awesome. Can I make her a commander? Uh, one. Special interest her here. And two. She's gotta be a commander, right? Uh, can I replace this 12 with her? She's gotta be right down here as well, though. Wait, what's her name? Bethany. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would probably be easier to do that. Oh, she's not in my court, is she? No, she is in my court. I thought you could have her be a commander. If you're a dragon rider. Maybe I'll wait a couple seconds. She's known as the Dragon Tamer. That is a great name. Um. Well, who took the city of King's Landing afterwards? I'm kind of curious. Uh, who, who holds this now? Ronald Tullyhart. Uh, Ronald Truthheart, actually. My friend. Okay, I was thinking that I might, re might have renamed it, like, something, if it was still um, Bethany's, like, family, but no, it's okay. Um, Is she eligible now? I, I know we've waited a little bit. I just want to see if she's good to go. There we go, Bethany Tullyheart. Fantastic. She's now a commander. Love it. Uh, the peasants in Flea Bottom like me for my charity work. Makes sense, really. Uh, the Reach's war is still going. Pentos's war is still going. My courtier, Roland Zealapple, has expressed a desire to get married. That is a great name. Marry as you please. He was married Pella. What's his one? Oh, it's the gardeners. As everyone is. They're all the gardeners one. Every time I look. My daughter got some diplomacy. Nice. Uh, oh, she needs a focus. Wait, why does it not prompt me that she needs a focus? <laughs> uh, okay, that's weird that that's not prompted me. What about you? Hey, you also need a focus. Why have you not prompted me? Oh, wait, no, you don't need one. You're too young. That's fine. That, that one I can accept. Oh, there's an actual siege going on in the Westlands. And there's also another war. War against the tyranny of Lord Paramount Tristan. I've been there, Tristan. I've been there. Do I want to be in this tourney? Of course I want to be in this tourney. What silly kind of question is that? Okay. Well. Let's see how we do. Uh, one of my vassals can be discouraged from joining factions. I mean, he's... Wait. Why is my son, who likes me at a hundred, in the uh, Depose Me faction? I'll ask him politely to not be in the faction. There's Jason's turn to joust, but he's unable to ride a horse. Lady uh, Nyella um, of Staunton of Rook's Rest seems most displeased and disqualified him from the tournament. My son has realized that maybe plotting against me is not the best move ever. He's also a tyrant, apparently. What's up, son? What's going on here? 
He is ambitious. I suppose that's the reason he was in the faction. Probably. Wait, what's this bottom one? Prince Desmond for the Iron Throne. It says, my, uh, yeah, my uncle. Interesting. What does he hold? Just a random city over there. Okay. How did he get that? There is a small independence one as well, which is Lorath and Bravos. But, again, not my problem. Uh, I failed to beat uh, Lucius Mouton, who was worse than me, but still won somehow. Okay, that's fine. Hey, a little autosave, and we'll keep going. Jousting is uh, complete on the first day, so now we get to find out who wins. So, uh, Sir Adam and Sir Bryce Tarth were next to Joust, and Sir Adam was declared the winner. We have won a tourney, haven't we? Yeah, we've, we've won one tourney. So this should actually increase our odds of winning another, but it doesn't seem to be. Sir Adam and Sir Urch uh, Estimate faced each other in final joust. Urch uh, uh, was on horse, leaving Sir Adam to be declared the winner. That was a tough competition, though. Sir Adam chose his Queen of Love and Beauty, so he chose our host. You know what? That makes a lot of sense, especially as he's unmarried. Okay. Trial by combat. Uh, there's a trial by combat over in Bravos. Okay. And he was proven innocent, I think. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of money building up. Maybe it's time to build another uh, colony at some point. Uh, maybe one up here. Wait. Oh, for, for a second there, I thought Skane was underneath someone else. No. I would like to make that colony at some point, but it's a very difficult one because it's so far away from everything. And we don't really have a lot of boats. And if, like, there's a war, it's the number one place the AI's like, ah, yeah, I can get this. It's, it's really easy to get. Hey, King's Landing is prospering. We get more money out of it. My uncle, Lord Master Desmond, and my son are not on the best of terms. I'm going to try and sort that out. Hey, we had a great time together. That's fantastic. Good to hear. Uh, we've discovered a plot where someone seeks to fabricate evidence of someone else's treachery. Okay, not my problem. Westlands. Um, it looks like the Reach are about to win their war. The other war is kind of fine. You would like me to intervene on your behalf. I'll vote in favour. Sure. Uh, Council voted in favour. She's decided to end her war. Oh, that must have been an adventure war, I think. Looking at it. Uh, it's weird that she's booked this as true history in her um, inventory. It's just like... Here's what here's what really happened. Just uh, one of those. Oh, it looks that's about to be a one war. Nice. You know, if we can get a war by conquest, when everything's back together, Kohor is looking like a fantastic place. I mean, look at that. There's a ton of land. Although Norvos is also like nice because it would make our realm look nicer. Atlantis as well could be cool. Uh, like it's because it's so large. There's actually a bunch of wars already in Volantis. That's uh, probably just the slave raid, but... Yeah, Norvos could be good. We should maybe start fabricating on these ones. I mean, do we have a reason to declare war? No. You know what? I should just start fabricating on, on like, ones that are just independent at the side, but... We'll wait until the realm is back together and I know what's actually already underneath me. Because I think we may... That might actually be one of ours anyway. Um, somebody's been viciously slandering me. I don't care. Is there a disease here? There is the pox. Um, I do have a refuge. Let's expand the grey house. Uh, the sick house. I read Grayscale Colony at the same time as I was speaking. Um, don't want to shut the gates. How bad is the pox? I don't know. Does anyone have the pox? Characters. Search all. E-O-X. Pox. It's not really that bad. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I am actually going to also switch my guy from training children to organizing the army. Yeah, to try and make my commanders better. Because I want to try and make my son better at fighting. So we can see what we can do there. Oh, the Reach War looks like it's going to end. It's not going to go straight in favor of the Reach. Because the Reach don't have an army there right now. Um, We can get this one going because of diplomacy skill. Just ignore it. I suspect that that's the Reach's Siege. Yeah, and they probably have taken war score. The Pox has broken out in King's Landing. I'm not worried about it. 
you would like me to intervene on your behalf against the aggression of Lord Paramount Tyler Durandon. Okay. Um, well, we could do that. Do I want to do that, though? Um, this guy is a loyalist, but here's the thing. He also um, fought against me, so no, I vote against. The council as a whole c unanimously voted against. Okay, so that's actually going to mean the Westland War goes on even longer. Uh, I can get this guy out of factions, maybe? What faction is he in? Overthrow the monarchy. Uh, I'm going to ask politely that he leaves the faction. He quite likes me. He said no. Wow. Okay. Well, not a fan of that. There's a high city created up there. Oh, Pentos is back. Look at that. Um, and the Pentoshi Flatlands are not part of Pentos. Well, here's the thing. If that was what that war was about, I'm going to really upset them by just doing that. There we go. Pentos is back. Uh, what's the other one that... Ooh. What's the other one that's independent? Dragonstone, Cracklaw, Baron, Darden. All of that looks about right. Do you have any others that should be underneath anyone else? No, those are all fine. Um... Great Cairn is or is in a war against the tyranny. That's okay. Right. Uh, so now it's just the Westlands. Bethany Tullyheart had Limagon's whip removed from the treasury, and the dragon's back. It was short-lived. Ooh, what's that? Astronomer. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Well, hopefully someone can get the dragon, or you know, the pox could get it or something. The Westlands are falling more apart, which I love. Just constantly falling apart. Yeah, the Ticking War score is going to leave, and that's now not in favor of him at all. But they can't do anything because the um, the Stormlands are now beating them up. So it looks like it's probably going to be now in favor of the Westlands. However, the Westlands have this Lidden War, which is causing problems for them. So, yeah, it's like a constant problem over here of, like, Whoever's winning the war thing has another war declared against them. We need a new hand of the king. New hand of the king is going to be... Um, I don't know. It could be Tomard Cracklaw, though he is wounded. Um, Let's make it... Um, I don't, well, it could be this guy. He is hiding, but I'm going to make it that guy for just now. And he can oversee the realm. Lord Laren, the mule. It's an interesting name. Uh, not very flattering. This guy suggests he's stubborn, doesn't it? I mean, does he have stubborn? That would explain it. He does. Yeah. Okay. Explained it 100%. This guy would like to join me. Um, sure. Why not, Ulvar Re Rivers? That's okay. Um, how are we, what's our mission? Be at peace, right? Yeah. When did I take it? Can't cancel it, so it must have been less than three years ago. So it's been two years. So we've got another three years of peace. Maladon is hiring men for an attack against me. I think by peace it means, like, we don't declare a war as well. If someone declares a war on us, I think we're good. Meredith has the pox. Well, she should be fine. Pox isn't going to kill her. Or it might, but it's not really a huge problem if it does. Our courtier caught grayscale. Okay. Well, that might be the end of her. Um. Hey, you've treated my daughter well. That's good. Successful treatment. So she's at zero um, health, um, positive or negative there. So, that's good to see. Right. Westlands, how's your wars going? They are... 4% in favor of Hugh now. Yes, yeah, so that's not really in favor. The dragon Limagon is a ravenous beast. She regularly roams the lands of King's Landing, gorging on the livestock of the small folk. Hundreds of them have seeked an audience with you in the past to protest at this. They are discontent growing all the while. Um, how do you like vague promises? Ooh. Oh, they like that. Your Grace, I, Horace Harlow, sincerely ask I'd be allowed to pursue a career at the Cistel in Old Town. Interesting, he's a Harlow, but he's a river man. And has been for several generations. Well, the one before that was there, river man. Ironborn. 
Yeah, so they did switch like a huge number of generations ago. Hey, you know what? You wanna you wanna join the Citadel? Don't let me stop you. Right, we'll do nothing about forcing that person out of a faction, because he's not ever, ever gonna have power to do anything about it. And with that, ooh, never mind. We need to choose a new master of laws. I don't like how Face the Dragon always pops up when we need to choose a new person for the council. It implies that someone just died, like fighting a dragon. Uh, I'm going to choose um, Meryn Sigwart. We we're not really great. Um... Ooh, that person's Valerian. Interesting. Of oh, Valantine. Wait a second. What land do you hold? You hold uh, the city of Little Roin. Oh, okay, in the center there. You also hold Velvet Hills. Never mind. I was thinking that for a second there, do I have land of Volantis? But I'm not very um, friendly towards people who aren't from the uh, Seven Kingdoms, like the original, because I don't generally put people from Volantis in charge. You know what? I am going to put him in charge, though. He's, he's a very interesting character. He can definitely be in charge. He is my master of laws. Uh, perform statecraft. Why not? Doesn't... Don't really have anything else I want you to do. I suppose I could get a claim over here. There's no reason not to get a claim over there. You know what? Try and get a claim. That works for me. Uh, you would like to be my master of laws. That's, a, that's no. I just filled the position. Sorry. And... Uh, I think it might be a good point to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.